to film this. We're at Emo's house. We're getting help. Tracy's on the cam phone right now. And uh, kind of had a whole situation of fighting with each other. We literally reenacted the whole thing. And that's kind of why we got distracted with... Come on! Freddie over here has really itchy fingers with the scissors. He does. <laughs> so uh, we forgot to film this part, but we had the whole fight scene and we're acting it out. And I happen to get sliced here, and of course everyone has knows that his arm is completely exposed. So we are going to proceed in cutting my butt up now, okay? If you're doing a group cosplay that involves battle scars, it's best to have a meeting for one of you or all of you at the same time. This was easiest for me to talk about how you got the battle scars and then cut it out that way. cardboard and put it in the shirt so you can paint so the paint doesn't bleed through. You're going to need a paint brush. You need tulip. The fabric paint, you need red and black. You only need a very, very, very tiny amount of black. I would suggest getting a Q-tip, dunking it in, and then pulling it out and stirring it in all the red. That's all you need. It's a very, very tiny amount to make it look like old dried up blood. Want to get the fabric softener and a little washcloth, dunk it in the fabric softener, and rub it in to where you painted. You want to soften up the paint so it doesn't scratch up your skin. Let it sit overnight. Then after it's dried, you put it into the dryer for heat treatment. For an hour, you want it to be nice and soft and so it won't peel or break. 